up y'all it's your girl every morning and i'm back today with another video um if you are new to my channel i would like to thank you for coming to my channel subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video and you are clearly here to see how i'm going to make the hot flaming mozzarella sticks i know some people call them flaming hot hot flaming where i'm from we call them hot flaming so i'm gonna say hot flaming in my cabinet <laughs> but anyways um yeah so i'm gonna get i'm having a having a day guys um, but I'm going to get right into it and this is everything that you'll need. So stay tuned. So first I have my high flaming pups, which I took those and I blended them into a blender to get them soft like that. But I use the hot flaming pups because they're much softer than regular hot Cheetos. So, um, you can actually break those down with your hand, put them in a, a plastic bag and do one of those moves on it. It'll work, come out perfectly fine. So I have my hot flaming puffs have my string cheese and I have my egg and my flour. That's pretty much everything you'll need. So I'm just gonna place them on the foil when I'm done with them, this my little raggedy foil. But I didn't, I didn't say in the beginning that I will be using the air fryer. I do not wanna put these in the grease. I don't wanna do that whole thing. I barely fry anything in this house, so I'm not gonna start today. But let's get started. I'm gonna take my first piece of cheese and I'm going to remove my fork from my egg. First piece of cheese, I'm gonna place that in the egg, dip that around in there. And then I'm going to place it in the flour. Coat that pretty nice. And into the hot Cheeto. Okay, why is it not sticking to my, my, um, so something's not right. I'm gonna re-put it back in the egg. There we go. There we go, there we go. I don't want mine to be fully coated. And there we have our first one. Now look at my fingers. <laughs> gonna go back in. And I think I'm gonna do it the same way I just did it. This is really messy. I didn't think that it would be this messy. Look at my fingers. I can't, I can't work like this. So if you guys are anything like me, I can't deal with my fingers like that. So I'm going to <laughs> use my tongs instead. And I also have my air fryer already on and just pretty much heating it up as you would do an oven. You preheat your oven. Here is my air fryer bottom portion of it. I'm just gonna take these and sit them inside of the air fryer. 
if you have a bigger air fryer, I'm sure you can make more than what I'm making. I'm just not making that much because I'm not gonna eat them. All at least. This is what they're looking like as they go into the air fryer. And I'm going to put these in the air fryer on 400 degrees and I'm going to put them in there for about six to eight minutes just to see. I want to put them in there too long because they're not a real mozzarella stick with the actual outside of them on there. So we'll see. Okay, so I just got these out of the air fryer and I'm not I don't know how I'm feeling about them this is what they're looking like <sighs> maybe I should have deep fried these <laughs> because the cheese started to look at that that's not that's not what I was <laughs> This is what they look like, and they look horrible. Look at this one. don't taste bad but they're just not for me maybe if I could have coated them a little bit more they're actually not bad at all but if I could have coated them a little bit more I think they would have tasted better but I'm gonna give myself a 7 out of 10 because they're not bad at all. They just need more hot Cheetos on them. So that is it. That is all. I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, let me know if you tried this before and let me know how it turned out. Um, yeah, or tell me different ways that you've made it before if you use different ingredients or anything else in the comments. But I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to your girl channel. Follow me on Instagram at I am Erin Monique. And that is it. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you. Peace out.